Hey guys, Alexia here and today we're going to be working on Pow Pow again. Today we are going to be priming him. So I'm going to be trying a different priming method with fish bones. I primed him with uh, Mosh Posh because that's the only thing I really knew how to prime. But Kamui Cosplay recently came out with a priming EVA video which I will leave in the comments below because it is very helpful. So we are going to be trying Plasti Dip. We are going to try Plasti Dipping all of Pow Pow and see how that works. She says that it's the best for EVA foam and everything, so we're going to try it on EVA foam on Pow Pow, and if I like it, then this will probably be for future projects as well. But I just need a different priming method. I want to test stuff out and learn how to use other products and whatnot. And maybe it'll help you guys too. So we're going to use Plasti Dip. We will have to go outside. I have to get something set up so we can hang up all the pieces. I'll take a little bit, but when I get back, we're going to be priming. So I'll see you guys whenever we can spray paint. Okay, so I couldn't really find anything to just like hang them off of or anything. So I took some jewelry wire. I have no idea what the thickness is or anything. I just had this laying around. Just some thin jewelry wire cut it at some lengths and then kind of just stuck it through the EVA foam, made sure it didn't stick through the sides, and then I'm just going to hang it like this. And then on the bigger pieces I have two. I'm sorry fish one. I'm going to hit you. On the big pieces I have two. And the handles, I have no idea how I'm going to do that. I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to hang them somehow. Somehow. Figure it out. But I'm going to take those outside and I'm going to start plastic dipping those pieces. So, I will see you guys outside. So it is quite windy outside. We have gloves. We have our plastic dip. I had it in some warm water so that it will apply better. And then we're going to do two thin... Or two coats. Make sure you coat it all the way on both sides. That's why I have it hanging up on this makeshift contraption I made. But we're going to spray it and then let that dry for 30 minutes and then we'll have to do a second layer. second coat on it. I bought another can of Plasti Dip because I don't think I have enough. So now I should have enough now. So we'll do the second layer and let that dry for 30 minutes and then it should be done. Okay, so I got all the handles on this makeshift thing I made. I put the, this handle just laid in a brick. This is on a railroad spike in a brick. Uh, these are held up on a piece of wood with some jewelry wire stuck in the back. It looks kind of like Titan's Tower, if you can see it. It's like a T. It looks like Titan's Tower. Anyway, you're going to Plasti Dip these and then let them dry for 30 minutes. And then do a second layer and let them dry for 30 minutes. It's the same thing we did to the bigger pieces, we're just doing it to these smaller pieces.
this painted pink. The handles are going to need a second layer. This has two layers on it. Um, this also has two layers on it. I think I'm just going to keep it as two layers because I don't want it to look perfect. I want it to still look weathered and everything and then I'm still going to add weathering on top of it. But I think the tiny bit of silver or black that's coming through the back will be fine because it will add more weathering with the texture and everything. So I'm just going to leave it with two coats. Let the front of that finish drying, then we got to get those. But while we're waiting on this to dry, we're going to paint. This piece. Because this piece is a different color than those. Those are all pink, and then this is going to be silver. This upper piece is going to be silver, and then the inside pieces are going to be gold. So I have silver and gold right over here under this stuff. Silver metallic paint and you'll need gold metallic paint as well. So I got silver and gold. So I think we'll do the silver first possibly. And, uh, let's see. I'm not sure. Maybe the gold first because it's on the inside. Fill up your paint plate. Make sure you have a nice brush. I'm just using an old makeup brush because it's a lot larger than the brushes I have. <clears throat> so we're just going to begin by putting the gold in the center pieces and then we'll put the silver on the outside. So what I'm going to do is I made bunny ears and I plastic dipped them last night and then I made these pieces because on Jinx's gun where the where it shoots there's like this cylinder piece on all around it but I still need it to be able to fit inside or I still need to fit inside this and it fits perfectly with that so I can't put it on there and then slide it through so I had to make two separate pieces and I'm going to plastic dip them and then glue them on. So like this goes down here, and this one, well not that one, this one goes up here. And it'll be like that. So, we got a, I don't have any PVC glue, so my dad suggested to use contact cement. I'm going to use contact cement to glue the top PVC pipe pieces onto the actual pipe going to plastic dip everything and then when everything's dry then we can attack well actually when everything's dry we'll put these in that and then put these on because I put these on last. I just had to make sure I made them so that I have the right shapes and whatnot. Got my plastic dip. I got these on brick with railroad spike so stay up. And then I got all the extra pieces hanging out back here. 
Got to flush the dip all of them. Wait 30 minutes and do the second coat. Whew, it's hot. And then we can get the rest of that done. Stiff. We have to wait 30 minutes and then do the second coat and then it will be done. silver painted on here. Pretty sure it's dry by now. I had, one second, I had to go buy some more pink. It's not the same pink. Okay, because this one is Rose Shimmer by Folk Art. I have it on everything else. I had two bottles of it and now that one's basically empty. And Hobby Lobby was sold out. So I had to find another metallic paint. This is, I don't know. And Anta's, I don't know, Anta's metallic paint. It's basically the same color. There's just a little bit less shimmer in it. But it's still basically the same shade and everything. But it's going to have to be what I have to work with because Hobby Lobby doesn't know when they were going to restock these. So we'll work with what we got. I also got some white metallic. I don't know exactly what I'll use it on, but I just got it just in case. So we're going to paint the tips of these pink. And let's see, I think these will be fine with one coat it looks like. So we'll just have to paint the tips of these pink. And then I think everything's painted. And then we'll just have to assemble it and then do all the weathering. guys so I got everything painted the tips of these are still just drying I took three layers and I was able to squeeze the very last itty bitty drops out of this so I didn't technically have to use the new bottle but I still have it if I need any touch-ups or anything else but my rose shimmer is gone but we got the bunny ears we got these pieces which I'll explain what these are, I guess, in the assembly video. They're just kind of tips on the uh, PVC pipe, but I'll explain more whenever we get to assembly. We got this painted. We got, eh, we got this painted. Sorry, there's not much room. We got this painted. This painted, and this painted. So now, all I have to do is wait for these to dry, and then I'm gonna put like, I guess just my own black detail myself, because I don't, not really sure how to cut into this thick PVC pipe. So I'm just gonna paint the detail marks onto it, because I don't know how to cut it, and I don't want to mess it up 
I only have 11 days left. I have to get this done. 11 days. I have to work too, so I have to get this done. <laughs> so, this is everything for painting him. There's some, there's like a touch here that I need to touch up. There's a few places that need to be touched up, but I'm going to touch those up whenever we weather it. But that's all the build, all the paint. I'm so happy that I got this done before Akon. I was so scared that I wasn't going to get it done. But I got it done. I'm so happy. So now, we can assemble this and everything. But first, I have to end this video. I'm sorry. It's going to be... I bet this is already kind of long. I'm sorry if it's long. But this is all the painting. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below or just direct message me. I will answer. I promise. If you have any questions, I will answer. We will assemble this in the next video. I will try to have it out. I guess in just at least in a couple days. I'll wait a couple days in between. But I'll try to get everything put out before I go to Acon. I'll try to get all the videos for Pow Pow and Fish Bones out. Fishbone still needs some touch up paint because some of them chipped and he's got to get weathered. Still needs some work. And this all has to be assembled and weathered. We'll get all that done. We're so close to being done. We only got 11 days left. I gotta get it done. So bad. We're gonna get it done. But thank you guys for watching. Please like, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and found it helpful. My name is Lexia. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for any more cosplay related content, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!